Today we're going to use the Door Maker plugin to put doors and drawer fronts on all of these cabinets. Now you've noticed that we have a bunch of boxes. This is for the 32 millimeter system or the European system already prepared and we've also added some guidelines. These guidelines are exactly in the half of this cabinet halfway down for this cabinet and we've put one at 160 millimeters down 320 and I think 550 something like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a new feature of the door maker we can hit the D key because I've set it up for a hotkey or a shortcut and we can use a new feature the new feature is we've added our overlay or inset doors We've also added the door angle for corner cabinets and we've added a little feature called protrusion which is how much the door sits in front of the cabinet. So what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, pick overlay. So an overlay is a standard uh, way of putting cabinet doors on European cabinets for the 35 millimeter cup hinge. We're going to pick, um, oh, might as well go to a, a double cathedral door. And we'll put something, maybe maybe go with this, the spruce. Okay, at this point, what we've done is we've set it up so that all you do is drag from corner to corner. And the system will automatically calculate all your gaps so that the doors sit on properly. Here's your first door. So what we're going to do is rotate, orbit this cabinet around, and we can see these marks. Or what we can do is as we go, we can hide the doors, and then we'll put them back, unhide them all at the end. So let's go that route. It's a little easier. Okay, so hit the D key again, and we're going to put a second door. And it goes from endpoint to endpoint. And then we're going to right click on that, hide. And then the system is still there for us. So pick this one up, drop it on. Right click, hide. We're going to put one in here. So let's move the cabinets over a little bit more. And this one we'll put all the way up to the top. So we can hit the escape key. It remembers that we're still on the door maker plugin and we can bring it to the top and we can hide. Now we have a sink cabinet over here. Let's call it a sink cabinet anyway. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put this time we're going to go to the intersection of the tag lines and then hide the door. Do the same thing for here. Hide the door. Now we're going to change to drawer fronts. And we're going to finish off. We'll put a false front here for the sink. And uh, we don't have to hide this one because it's really not in our way. So we'll just leave it. And we've got this drawer bank that we want to complete. So we will continue and we can put one over here. We can hide this one, put this one up into here, leave it, hide this one, put one into here. And I believe we're going to be complete. edit, unhide all. There's your doors. Now let's zoom in a little bit and look at our gaps. Notice that we have consistent gap between all the doors and drawers. Hit the T for the tag or the, or the tape measure, I'm sorry, three millimeter. Three millimeter. What were we set at? three millimeter. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this uh, 
helps to increase productivity. Bye now.